Hello again. Once again, this video is sponsored by Autodesk. And uh, I'm following on from the blend shape one and showing um, a different thing that you can do with blend shapes, um, which is pretty cool, I think. And um, what I'll do is first of all, make a by frost tree as per usual, create graph. Then I'll bring in the face mesh and I'll bring in all the blend shape targets. So lid half open, lid open, um, lid shut, and lid half shut. And I'll put them in order in a sequence. So what I want is open, half open, just the general shape and then half shut and then shut. And what that will do is, um, is make a sequence from them being fully open, which is like this one, let's just hide that one, uh, to this one, which is shut, the general face just being the midway point. And um, <clears throat> so I'll get that input gone. So let's have a look. What I want to do is use this node, which I made, and this is a copy of a very cool node from um, Soft Image. And uh, let me just show how this is going to work. So first of all, I get the point positions from these meshes. So I get point position from that one and all of them, so. Put them like that. And I want to bring all of these into um, a for each array. So I make a for each um, node loop and I'll put all these in as inputs. Now what this does remember is it inside this node, it's as if it's just doing it for one point and it iterates over all of them, but it does it as if as if you know inside here you can imagine you're just working on one point, which means that you know it simplifies things quite a lot. So you know this is array of point positions here, like you know 300 point positions, but in terms of inside here, is as if, as if you've only got one. <clears throat> so what I need to do now is imagine that, that, okay, so we've got these five different sets of blend shapes, but imagine that we're just dealing with one of these points, say that one sort of like on the edge of the eyelid here. This point position is, this first one is where it is when it's wide open. That one is where it is when it's half shut. That one is in this position. That one is where it's, sorry, wide open, half open, now, uh, where it is now, half shut, then shut. So you can think of this inside this loop as if it's just doing, you only have to think about it for one point effectively. Um, but I can still build an array inside here, but um, f imagine that this one is just five points. Just imagine that we're just doing one, one point here and we're doing an array of five blend shape positions like that <clears throat> and what we can do now we don't need that max iterations thing so let's just get rid of that I don't think we need current index either <clears throat> now this array which is inside you know the the larger array I don't want to label a point on that but I know this is what I found slightly confusing Inside here, we've got an array of five different positions for each point. And on this array, what I've done is I've made this node called fit Bezier curve. And, oh, first of all, I need to make these iteration targets because it's gonna iterate through all of these different um, nodes, uh, things. Now, just have to do this if you want it to iterate over these different 
point position arrays. So now it's going to do it for each one. So array, stick in there, and the output we stick to there. This output two node is um, badly named, but that's you'll see what it is in a minute. Let me just put it to there, <clears throat> and then we'll go here, and we'll go set point position. We want to set this mesh here. This will write a new BIF file and point positions. We go from there outwards. Okay. And then this output here will make an output to the scene. We can rename that um, something useful like amount. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's shut the, um, let's hide the original face. Now that T amount is now at, sorry, let's just get the graph. We've got that amount. The, this the amount is at zero. If I just key that there, at zero, and then I move somewhere else, and I key that at one, what this does now is it cycles through that whole list of um, uh, blend shapes, and it does it with a curve. Not so it's not going linearly from one to the next. It's actually going th as a curve through all of them, and that's what that fit Bezier thing inside here does. Fit Bezier curve. Now, <clears throat> this is a node which I recreated from one in um, Soft Image in Ice, and let me show exactly what it does. So, you know, that's the effect when you're using it with blend shape. Basically, it will, it will run through a sequence of blend shapes, but just give you one slider and it will smoothly interpolate between. So again, remember each point is just doing the instructions inside this, which is building an array of its own, of that point, just that one point, five positions, and then making those five positions into a curve. <clears throat> and then this output runs it through the curve. So let me go back into Soft Image and I'll let me leave that head for a moment. Um, let me show what it's doing. So it's um, the reason why I'm showing it in here is it's just slightly easier to visualize for me because I'm you know not hugely experienced in Bifrost. So uh, and also just to show that it's exactly the same, you know the, the way that that node thing works. So we've got six nulls here. Um, if I make an ice tree on, uh, well, you need to make an ice tree on something. So I'll just make it on this tree, on this null here, and call it, uh, I'll make that null so you can't see it in the scene. And um, just open up an ice tree on it here. So create ice tree, and we'll bring in those different null positions. Hopefully this will become a lot more apparent when uh, when you see it, you'll kind of get what's going on, hopefully. I'm sure you will. So we're getting all those nulls, then we'll do, out of each of those, we'll do get position. So it's kinematics position. Sorry, let's just, uh, I don't need that null bit at the front. Copy and paste that onto all of these. So this is the bit inside the loop in um, in Bifrost, effectively. You know, so each each point has got one, two, three, four, five. Well, six here, but let's say five. No, no, in fact, let's just do five. Okay, so let's go back to Bifrost um, and show that graph. This is the bit in this for each bit. So remember, this is for one point. So one point has this information. We are building an array like that. One, two, three, 
four, five. Um, we're getting fit Bezier, fit Bezier curve, like that. And we are, well, here I'm just going to set data as just a temporary value so we can see it in the scene. Self dot, can call it anything, I'll give it TMP. And if I click on that, I can visualize this as a point. Let's make it sort of pink and large. And there's that point, that pink point there. So again, let's just have a look at this. There's five values, building an array, fit Bezier curve, and then setting the data. And that pink point shows where we are currently. If I move this T along, you can see that that pink dot moves through all of the position. I've got rid of number six, so let's we can just get rid of that there. Um, so that's smoothly going along the curve that's created by these different nulls, or locators as you call them in Maya. And imagine that this is happening for each point on a mesh. Uh, just to go back here again. So this is happening, let's go out, for each point on this mesh. And then we're setting the point position. So effectively, we've got a bunch of points in slightly different positions, and we're running through them as a sequence. Now, this node is, um, you know, you, you don't have to use this for eyelids, you can use it for anything. But the cool thing about eyelids, and um, doing it for eyelids, is you might have a comp, you know, this character is quite simple. But you might have a sequence going from really wide to really scrunched up tight shut eyes and instead of having sliders and having to you know put expressions on sliders it's so much easier just having one sequence like this um, and just to go back here so that's exactly what's happening with this it's just running through a sequence of shapes Don't worry about that eyelid penetrating through the eyes just because I just did this is just an example. But yeah, so that's a cool thing that you can do in Bifrost, which, you know, you wouldn't be able to do that with a normal, that simply with a normal, um, uh, you know, shape mixer. And, you know, again, with this, you can, if this was your eyelid, you know, system, you could just put that control G, call this, um, you know, if you knew you always wanted, say, five, although if you wanted to add more, it's absolutely simple. Um, then you rename it by clicking on that name. <laughs> Why isn't it letting me do that? Sometimes it's a bit, a bit finickety with me trying. There you go. Eyelid sequence or whatever. Okay, so now we've got. Um, you know, a bunch of these inputs which go in there, just make sure that they go in order. I don't know why, the, why they're not called the order there, but let's just let's just uh, rename those. Um, open, you know, um, half, open, you know, and you get the rest. Um, and then the amount, you know, if you didn't want that amount at the top, if you wanted it at the bottom, if you right click, there's you know, you can say move port down to bottom if you wanted. You know, it might be easier doing that. Then you can save this and use that. You know, you don't have to build all of this stuff every time. You've got that now as a compound which you could just use for your eyelids. Um, yeah. So that's another cool thing that you can do. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that's it for that video. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.